Final answer. Final answer. You had £125,000. You just won a quarter! Who wants to be a millionaire has captured the imagination and the envy of people everywhere. And it's one of the most popular shows in the world. Within the next few years, it'll be on the television screens of almost 50 countries, here in Ireland by next autumn. Today, the champagne corks were popping as Gay Byrne and the Ursel sponsors of the programme celebrated the signing of the contracts between RTE and the holders of the Irish franchise, Tyrone Productions. But are contestants really going to become millionaires? I would imagine so. Irish people have a fantastic uh, precedence and, and historical connection with pub quizzes all around the country. They're very good at general knowledge quizzes. They participate very well indeed and they will be tested and only the, 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 the cream of the crop will end up on the show. Aircell's sponsorship contract is said to be the biggest in the history of Irish broadcasting. But they and RTE are being coy about exactly how big. However, I understand that overall it amounts to millions of pounds. So how will contestants be selected to take part in the show? Contestants get on the show by ringing a phone line which will be announced about a month before we go on air and they can ring in and they will be given a qualifying question and the best first hundred selected through the computer go on to a further qualifying round. Eventually we get down to ten contestants and they're the VIPs who come to the studio and once they get there they're all they've already nearly won the million. We'll treat them like millionaires from the moment they get that, that, that far. And will Gay actually say, is that your final answer? I think so. Colm Connolly, RTE News.